So right now, we are going to tell ChatGPT to write us a list of hot topics to discuss in a faceless podcast channel. Okay, there goes the output. Oh, that's pretty amazing. This output isn't bad. What you should do is to go through the response and choose the topic that really interests you. So if I can see the pop culture and entertainment. This isn't bad because it attracts a large audience. But I rather go for personal development and self improvement. Yes. So what I'm what I would do right now is to write a script for it, and I'll tell Chat GPT to write us a script on these outputs here. Okay, there we go. So guys, one of my favorite features of ChatGPT is that it does provide footage at the very least, and this will assist you in creating a better video. I believe this is more of a conversational response, which will help retain your viewers. So one thing I suggest doing is that, and I'll do that right now, is to request for a topic in personal development and self-improvement. In that way, you have a lot of topics to talk about on your podcast channel. Okay, so right now we'll tell ChatGTP to give us 10 topics to discuss. Yes. Okay, guys, so now we have 10 topics and it's pretty amazing. I will be going for the overcoming procrastination, right? And ChatGTP will be of help. Yes, yeah, so we're going to tell ChatGTP to write us a script on this topic. Okay, so let's go. All right, there we go. So I'm always precise with my prompts and you too should also learn from that. Having gone through this um, script, I can tell you it is very interesting and this will be the script for our voiceover. So you can choose to use the suggested footage, but I would rather not. So you want to stick with me to see how I will make my video. So we have a topic, right? You can also go ahead and request a script for the other topics. So guys, if you ever decide to do the TV and movie discussion thing, this is the film critic prompt. Yes, so this is the prompt for the movie review also. Now you have it, you can also go through it yourself just to be sure it is correct. I just made a prompt for the popular cartoon Lion King. I know most of you have seen it, but if you've not, good for you. <laughs> I also review Black Panther and that is pretty amazing. So you, you guys should go try out the prompt and see what works for you. So right now I'm just going to copy this prompt Yes, I'm, I'm going to copy this of this from the Black Panther and paste it to ClipChamp. ClipChamp is the test to speech software we're going to be using. Okay, so you can actually own a free for life account with ClipChamp. So you click on record something. Now it will open up an interface where you would have to select test to speech. Yes, we want a test to speech picture. So what you do is to select your language. We have several here. We have South Africa. We have um, India. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll leave it at English. Yes, USA English. Now I'm going to change the voice style and now the voice itself. So for the voice, I'll go for Anna. Anna is uh, is a baby voice. So let's see. This is the Black Panther script. I just took half of it. So let you actually get the feeling of what the script actually sounds like and what this test to speech can actually do. So let's go. Black Panther is a groundbreaking film that tells the story of Chala, the newly crowned king of Wakanda, a technologically advanced African nation that has managed to keep its existence hidden from the rest of the world. When an outsider threatens Wakanda's way of life, Chala must use his powers as the Black Panther to protect his people and his kingdom. One of the film's strongest aspects is its visuals. The Wakanda world is beautifully crafted and it's a feast for the eyes. The film's costume, production design, and special effects all work together to create a unique and immersive experience. Another positive aspect of the film is its strong cast of actors, particularly Chadwick Boseman in the lead role and Michael B. Jordan as the villain Killmonger. The film also deals with important themes such as race, power, and identity, which are handled with nuance and insight. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to change the voice to a man's voice. So you can keep trying to get the best for your, for your script. So let's go. Black Panther is a groundbreaking film that tells the story of Chala, the newly crowned king of Wakanda, a technologically advanced African nation that has managed to keep its existence hidden from the rest of the world. 
When an outsider threatens Wakanda's way of life, Chala must use his powers as the Black Panther to protect his people and his kingdom. One of the film's strongest aspects is its visuals. The Wakanda world is beautifully crafted and it's a feast for the eyes. The film's costume, production design, and special effects all work together to create a unique and immersive experience. Another positive aspect of the film is its strong cast of actors, particularly Chadwick Boseman in the lead role and Michael B. Jordan as the villain Killmonger. The film also deals with important themes such as race, power, and identity, which are handled with nuance and insight. Okay, there we go guys. So one thing we can always do now is to click on save to media and it will bring us up to this interface. This is where you can actually work on your footage. So right now I'm going to use Canva because I really want it in a different style. I've used Canva to design a video for the podcast. So you'll see exactly how I designed the video for the podcast. So here is Canva and all you have to do is just to type YouTube video in search bar so that you get the exact templates you actually want. So I will just type right now. Okay guys, so there we go. So one thing I can always do is to make it very precise. So I will add podcast to it. So it gives us a podcast template. Okay, so there we go. We have a lot here, both the paid and the free. So this is a free account. So we're going to search for a free template to use. So I think I'll go with this. So right here, I'll click on customize this, this template. And it takes me up here. Right here, I would need to edit all this so that it could look different. So why your podcast video should never be a static image is um youtube does not accept a static image like you having a single image from the start to the finish youtube wouldn't accept it so this is the idea and this is how to go about your faceless podcast channel so oh, that being said our video is ready the one thing we can actually do is to upload our audio file we have the audio file the text to speech and this is it here so i'm going to place my cursor there and drag it right there so this is how you drag it so you can align you are welcome back to our channel where we talk about all things personal development and self-improvement so today we're going to talk about one of the biggest obstacles that many of us face on our journey to success Okay, so that's fine. I think we're good. And the next thing is to download our videos. So you click on share, download, and now it is downloading. So right here on YouTube, what you should do is to click on that icon and there will be a drop down. You click on upload video. You click on select file and your library will open up to you to get the videos. Okay, so as you can see, our video is uploaded and it carries a very good title. So you ensure you have a good title for your video before uploading. Okay, so guys, I suggest you get vidIQ. This will help you with your keyword research. And as you can see, it will also show you the trending video. It shows you keyword, related keyword, and also provide you with keyword. And this will help your channel to grow very well, guys. So that being said, as you can see, I'm also using vidIQ the AI will help us with the title so that's it I'm going to select the best output here okay I think I love the how to overcome procrastination three easy steps so that's fine guys now the description we can also tell the AI to help us with the description and just we are required to input our desired keywords so I'll do that real quick okay so that's it These are the keywords I want to run first. I click on generate and you wait for it, guys. So we have three outputs. You can always read through to get the best. So I'll do just that. Okay, I think this works for me. Okay, that's fine. So I'll just insert. 
and yeah we are good so the next is thumbnail but i've made several videos on how to create thumbnail so you should go see those videos i'm not going to do that in this video so you click on no so it comes to your tag your tag is your keyword as you can see vdiq as you know so just type keywords for us so we're going to use it so this is how it works with vidiq guys and right here you can also input the search term you would want to run for so you click on next so right now you click on publish that is if you want to publish your video but i'm not going to do that because this is my channel but i believe you now understand how to go about the podcast so my advice to you guys is you don't stop at one video once you publish this video or rather before you publish any video make sure you have like 10 more videos to publish so take advantage of chat gpt and you know make a lot of these videos you, you can schedule them in that way it will help your channel grow fast make do of this prompt and get the best video out there